Hello everyone, welcome to another episode. Today we're going to be discussing the new grid system that Lychee is going to be implementing in version 6. Um, of course, if you're on the Discord channel, you probably already know about this, and I'm sure you've either played around with or heard other people talking about um, the public beta version of Lychee Slicer uh, for version 6. Um, the grid system is a pretty big update, uh, I will admit that. Um, to me, it's reminiscent of a similar to some of the stuff when I was playing around with um, other slicers. There's some similarity to it, uh, but it's a bit different. It seems to formulate itself a little differently. Uh, actually seems pretty efficient from what I've seen so far and what I've played around with. I'm actually going to be doing some test prints with it over the next few days, and I'll report back and let you guys know how that worked out, probably with a follow-up episode on the same topic. Um, we'll also make note of when this actually releases, um, I'll probably do a formal update with the actual release list and like all the bug fixes, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, like I usually do. So um, keep an eye out for that as well. That will probably also feature some follow-up on this particular function. Anyway, let's get right into the uh, lychee part of it, and um, I'll show you guys this new system so you guys can check it out and see what you think. All right. So this is something I was working on earlier for a client of mine, and it's a cool little cobra head piece. This is where you can see the grid system in, at work here, and also down here where these supports are put in, and you can see where they're kind of like put it on the grid. And I'm going to demonstrate this a little bit more, but I just wanted to show you this was a completed piece. This is ready to print. And this is what it looks like. Now, this is a very big, tall, giant Cobra chunk. I think it's about 166 millimeters worth of printing height there. It's a big piece. So anyway, I'm going to actually make a copy of this so I can uh, keep my original here, too. But I wanted to demonstrate how this works. And I'm going to use auto supporting to do it because it'll make it a heck of a lot faster. All right. So let's go ahead and go to that one. And then we're going to go ahead and get rid of everything. Because why not? Now, if you haven't already noticed, there's a new tab over here where your supporting features are. You have auto. Now you have structure, manual, island, and proximity. Uh, structure is where we're going to find the grid system. So the first thing you're going to want to do in that instance is, okay, there we go. Program locked up on me for a second. Sorry about that. All right, the first thing you want to do is you're going to go to your structure menu. If you snap on grid, you can see the grid down there, those green dots. So then if you, let's say we apply, so we're on heavy preset. And then we're going to use, we're going to go ahead and use autos. We're going to use auto bracing and auto parent. And we'll just set this to normal. I had it on high before. We'll set, <laughs> high, high can get pretty crazy on small objects. Big stuff like this, it's fine. You, you probably want it to chunk up. Um, I was playing around with some test patterns there. But anyway, so put it on normal. We'll go ahead and generate this for you. You'll see how this generates the bracings and creates like this grid structure. And then I'll show you the different types of grid structures that you can apply uh, two different styles of print. Well, yeah, print or thing, whatever it is you're making. Uh, that's a huge, that's going to be a huge difference because, you know, you have small objects, obviously like minis. So you're not going to want like big chunky bracings. Um, but this is a way for you to apply different levels of bracing very quickly. Uh, I like it. I think it's a great feature. I, I can't wait for this to go full with the new version when it does actually full release. Right now, the beta, you know, is the beta. I mean, uh, th there's always bugs, but it, it, that's why they call it a beta. Um, see, there you go. Now, you can see it's not as dense as when I uh, showed you the other one because I kind of filled in a lot of that additional supporting uh, to make it much, much, much thicker. But you can see everything's kind of like clustered where you have much less 
points that are all kind of formed on a grid. And then all these parent to these, you know, uh, base points. So you have a nice you have a nice grid setup, but if you're using auto supports like this, this is a great um, starting point for auto supports. If you don't know what you're doing, and I have to say this is actually they've done really well with this feature. This looks very very good, very rigid, good structure, and with the supporting type I'm using here, this should be pretty good. All you really have to do from this point is go ahead and check your islands and make sure that you're stable. Now, when I mentioned there's also different types of grid structures, so let's take a look at that. If we go to your structure tab, oh, you can also choose the grid interval, by the way. I, I totally forgot to mention that. So grid interval will determine, obviously, duh, how tight your grid pattern is. Um, and you'll see how that changes. And obviously, I have to update the bracings again, but... Uh, the further you go out, the wider things become. And I will update that. And you'll see it is a little less crowded. And of course, you can you can change this. You have tall object bracing for um, tall objects. You have small object bracing, which would be like minis. You have strong bracing, which would be for heavier objects. I would say you could also wager that would work with tall objects too, because they can tend to pull. The, like, it's almost like the further they get away, the harder it becomes to pull away sometimes. Uh, and then you have default, which we can we can do that, and I'll show you. I'm also going to show you what happens if we turn this grid off. And still, you can still use the bracing, see? Squares instead of the um, trees. This is a little bit cleaner, in my opinion. Um, also note in this update, they have moved the support projection to the manual tab. So that's something that's changed. Uh, but for the most part, from what I'm noting, there's uh, you know there's printers added all the time with each release, with each release usually. Um, and then you have this feature, the structure feature, which personally I think might actually be one of the bigger feature releases for this particular release. I don't know if I said a release enough there. But yeah, it's a pretty unique feature. I definitely, I will recommend to those of you who have not tried it, um, go download the public beta on the Discord. Check it out. It's neat. Even if you don't employ this into your workflow yet, um, I have. And I'm going to let you guys know if it works or sucks, but <laughs> here we are. Anyway, that's pretty much how it works. Uh, if you wanted to turn off the grid... You can do that too, and then we can actually update that again, and you'll see. Well, no, actually, that does the same thing. I'm sorry. Hold on. What we actually need to do is, my bad, redo the entire thing, because when you turn the grid off, I'm actually I think auto, auto parent maybe. No, hold on. I did play around with this for a little bit, but there's a, still a few things I'm kind of like working my way around. My apologies. Anyway, there we go. It's going to generate them. And this time, we should be looking at a little bit different. I don't know why it's taking its time with this one. Um, because I've turned the grid off, it's not going to try to align every single base point the way it was doing. So you're going to see a more, I guess, sporadic setup. Not that it's sporadic. There's meaning to it, but it's not concise. I think a lot of folks are going to like that because you, if you're OCD like me and you like to see things organized, it's, uh, <laughs> it's a cool way to do it. The grid thing does get a little bit. I mean, you have to adjust it. You have to tweak it to like it. So there you can see. 
not quite the concise grid pattern that we were looking at before with all the squares. This is pretty much what Lychee looks like now if you apply auto supports. It's a huge difference. If you go here and you apply the grid, you'll pretty much get back what we were looking at before. Um, And I think uh, I think this is going to eventually they'll probably polish this a bit more. And I think we'll see this be a really refined feature. Um, I think a lot of folks will take this into their workflows because it will, I think, allow you to stretch a little bit like the, the bracing systems the way it was. Using auto bracings was kind of mm, I, I use them because I'm, I'm sometimes I'm in a hurry and trying to get things done as quickly as possible. But I, I prefer to do them myself when I have the time to. For demonstrative purpose, I'll, purposes, I'll often use them as well. Uh, and then I'll tell people not to. I'll be like, I use auto braces in this demonstration. But please don't. That's how I, <laughs> how I do it. You don't do it that way. See, massive difference in the structure. Again, this is just auto support. So that's pretty much how the grid system works. Um, like I said, I played around with it quite a lot, but there's still some things I'm working my way around. Like, I'm still tweaking this to, uh, you know, a way that I like. Um, yeah, so you can you can actually parent them all again. This was a feature from the old uh, setup anyway. That's nothing new. Uh, and again, the grid on we'll do them based on the grid, which is like I said, it's that, you know, yeah, that, that you can kind of see there. That will try to line them up, at least the basis uh, of the, the supports will try to line up on that grid. This is good for organization because if you do that and you say, let's, you know, update that. And there you go. I mean, it looks like a very organized support system. And I would wager that these supports are probably pretty sturdy and they probably work really well. But see, then you've got these little noodly bits here that are going to come out here. Those do worry me a bit because they're on their own. I'm actually thinking of maybe going in here and putting a few supports that will actually run from down here and reconnect down here somewhere, kind of setting them up um, as little bridges. Because I do worry about this. Or even putting another support next to it and bracing it higher. Because those being up there by themselves, even at 1.33 millimeter diameter, a little bit of a wiggle and it's just not going to connect where it needs to. And I mean, honestly, I don't even think those might be little islands, I guess, up there. That's probably their purpose. Uh, I can't remember specifically. And again, I'd have to go through each particular one. But uh, that's it. That's pretty much the way it works. So... If you're interested in learning more, check it out on the Discord channel. Um, if you are not familiar, go over to the Lychee website. Um, they have links to all their Discord channels there. You can get a link to the beta. Remember, this is version 6. Download that. Check it out. If you want to revert back to the old version, you can. Just go back to their download page and download the most recent release. Anyway, that's it for this episode, guys. Thanks so much for watching, as always, and happy printing.